Hey guys, welcome back. So as promised, I am bringing you the L'Oreal Collection Privé of Nudes. And I actually really enjoyed these. I put off purchasing them for, well, what is it, almost, it's coming up on a year now when they were originally released. And I just kind of kept passing up on them. But, you know, you really can do so much with a good nude. So I wanted to put these to the test and see what they were like. Um, they're nudes that are based off of different famous women and so it's like that person's nude. And so originally I thought, well maybe only one of the two of those would might work for me because it's based on a different person's skin tone. But then I thought, you know, it's probably actually just about what they prefer. And for example, the first one I'm gonna show you this is JLo's nude, and I love JLo's nude <laughs> because it's in the gray family. This is definitely what I'd call like a grayish. It's a gray beige, and it's she considers it a nude, even though I think it totally looks gray. Here's what the polish looks like here, and it's just called Jennifer's Nude. And this is a great two-coater. I couldn't get away with one coat, but um, this is nice and smooth at two coats, so I think that you're going to see. I think that they did a great job with this collection, but let's start out with this one. Hopefully if you see any here that you really do like, that you're still able to find them because I'm able to find them at my, I think it's CVS and Rite Aid still have them um, like as specialty displays and then also up in the actual L'Oreal display. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to find one if you see one that you want and then the extra thing that pushed me over the edge was all last week, um, L'Oreal cosmetics were 40% off plus like an extra 25% if you spent $20 or more. So I was like, okay, it's time. Let's just take a look at them and see which ones we like best. All right, we can't go any farther without talking about what is on my lips. This is actually the first Milani lipstick that I tried that I didn't absolutely love right upon first application. And I think what it is, it's, um, I, is it what is it like a frost or a shimmer? I'm not sure, it doesn't say on mine, like it says at the display at the store when you go to purchase it. And I usually stay away from like the frosty ones because I really don't know how I'll like that. But I guess I had purchased this a while ago. When I was applying this, it felt gritty like a lip exfoliator. It was like uh, ripping across my nails, like not ripping like I was hurting my mouth. But I was really surprised because they're, um, these color statement lipsticks are so creamy usually. But maybe that's just because I usually buy the creamy ones, I'm not sure. But once I had this on, it's comfortable to wear. I did actually kind of enjoy that it's a little bit frosty and shimmery. It saves you that extra step of like not having to apply a little bit of extra something on there if you're looking for something frosty. So I actually kind of enjoyed it, but upon the first application, it was kind of like, you know, not too good. But like I'm trying to say, it doesn't feel drying. It feels creamy and nice. So anyway, and did I even tell you, this is called Sugar Glaze. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. So. The next one that we're going to look at is Frida's Nude. And this is kind of like a rosy light bronze. Um, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, classify all of these as nudes, but I like that they did kind of a little different take on a few of them. Like they're not just all straight up creams. Um, they didn't put any mattes in there, which I know Tim will like, but yeah, this one is really, really pretty. Like I said, it's like, um, it definitely is a frost, so if you don't like frosts, you might not care for this one. Um, but, you know, if you do, and if you're looking for something kind of, it's not really rose gold, it's kind of like rosy bronze, light bronze. So, <laughs> let's see how this watches.
All right, so this next one I'm going to apologize. I'm going to slaughter the name because I don't know how to say, is it Dotson's? Dotson's Nude? I'm not exactly sure. This is the lightest color of the collection. Um, in my collection, it was it was on the left-hand side, and I didn't know who this woman was. Um, however, I thought based upon her skin tone that this was going to be the one that I liked the best, and her um, lipstick as well, but I ended up not really... Um, finding that to be the case after I had looked at them and tried these all on. So what this one is, is it's kind of like the lighter mauve nude. It's definitely not, when I think nude, I don't traditionally think of this color, but like I said, I think that they did a great job giving us a different look at what a nude could be. You do need two coats here, but on, on the two coats, just like the rest of them, it's really great. So let's take a look at this one. All right, so this next nude is Eva's nude. This is for Eva Longoria. And this one is kind of like a very light camel and it has gold shimmer in it. So this is the only one that's shimmery. So we had a frost, a shimmer, and then you have four creams. So this one just has a very fair um, amount of shimmer in it. It's not super noticeable on the nail, but I think it just gives it that extra something special. And I like this color a lot. Alright, so the next one we're going to look at is Julianne's Nude, and this one, when I look at the color, I kind of think this is a little bit like a My Lips But Better color, but it's a nail polish, but um, it's definitely like a rosy, peachy nude, but toned like way down. Hi, buddy! Um, so yeah, totally toned down, but definitely into a little bit more of the pinky family, and another great two-coater. I really did like this one. So the last one that we're going to look at is Leah's Nude, and this one is just a great classic taupe. This gets opaque at two coats. Um, all of these, I think you definitely do need two coats, but I think it's worth it because they all look really nice and even at the two coats. And so let's take a look at Leah's Nude. So those were all six polishes in this collection. I hope you found something that you liked. I really think that if you wanted to, you could find something that was really right for you in this collection. I think they did a great job with the range. They did different finishes. They did, um, you know, totally different concepts of what the word nude would mean to somebody, like their perfect nude. People always talk about what is your perfect nude lip? Like what is your, my lips but better. But, um, you know, this kind of rolls off that concept, but what is your perfect nude nail color? So anyway, I think for me, the colors that I didn't like super a lot, but that's just for my own personal preference. Um, Frida's nude, I just don't care for the frosty look on my nail that often. It's a rare day that I'll be like, oh, I want to wear something a little bit frosty. So 
And this one, even though I feel like that color, like the rose gold conception, but a little bit um, in the bronze family, I think is a really nice idea. But for me, that one, I probably wouldn't pick as one of my favorites. And the other one that I just personally didn't feel like it looked as good on my skin tone was Eva's Nude. And that's the lovely, like very light camel with the shimmer. But that's just because of how, when I put them on myself, how I, you know, preferred them. So the rest of them, I feel like I'm going to be wearing all the time. Like I showed you before, here's JLo's Nude. I just think that one's really great. And she and I have totally different skin tones. So, you know, some of it's skin tone, some of it's just preference. And I hope that you find something that you like. I hope this helped you out. And I hope you're able to still find these in the L'Oreal display if you are interested in one of them. And thanks for hanging out with me today. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of fun around here. And I'll see you back next time. Bye!